What up, y'all? It's your boy Crypto Nesto, and today is my 60th day staking Zilliqa on a Moonlet wallet, and we've just faced a minor dump. I repeat, minor dump. The weak hands are being shaken out of the market. I still feel now is a great time to stake Zilliqa on the Moonlet wallet and take advantage of these gains and incentives ahead. So today, I want to talk to you guys about how crypto regulation can potentially get us to the moon and over to Mars. I also believe once the XRP situation is straightened out, you can expect a strong comeback. Just my opinion. Anyway, let's go over the powers and regulations back in Zilliqa. All right. So one of the main powers back in Zilliqa is the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Let's just say the abbreviation MAS for short. I'll leave a link below for the MAS website and Wikipedia. So according to the MAS Wikipedia, the MAS is Singapore's central bank and financial regulatory authority. They administer the money, banking, insurance, securities investments, and pretty much the whole Singapore financial sector. It was established in the year of 1971 by the Singapore government banker. Now let's go over the MAS website and i'll give you guys a quick overview of each slide all right so let's go over the first slide here all right so the first slide is about the mass the monetary authority of singapore hosting the virtual fintech festival um between the um december 7th and december to um December eleventh of twenty twenty. All right, that's December seventh and December eleventh of twenty twenty. This is around the same time we began to see Zilliqa begin to rally. All right. So as you can see, between December seventh and December eleventh, that's when we started seeing a little price movement on Zilliqa. So let's continue on with the article. All right. So the Virtual Fintech Festival was attended by 60,000 financial and technology influencers from all over the world. One of the guest speakers was none other than Bill Gates of Microsoft. I'll leave a link below for the, to the Fintech website. All right. As you can see, Bill Gates was one of the speakers there. All right. So let's continue on on the website. All right. So let's go over the second slide. All right. So the second slide talks about digital planning for the people of Singapore. More than likely, this could be blockchain technology. Let's go over the third slide. So the third slide talks about the FinTech Festival and the Singapore Week of Innovation. All right. Um, Switch for short. You can find videos of Switch here on YouTube. All right, so now let's go over the fourth slide. So the fourth slide talks about how the U.S. Federal Reserve is providing up to $60 billion of funding to many businesses in the Monetary Authority of Singapore's U.S. dollar facility. Some of that funding could potentially go into Zilliqa. All right, guys. So now let's go over the fifth slide. So the fifth slide goes over the Monetary Authority of Singapore announcing digital banks in Singapore. The first digital bank is the DFB, Digital Full Bank. And the second digital bank is the um, DWB, the Digital Wholesale Bank. These banks could potentially be using blockchain technology and are expected to be rolled out in Singapore in the year of 2022. All right, so this is very big for blockchain technology, and this can be pretty big for Zilliqa, all right? So anyway, um, it's your boy, Crypto Nesto. I wish the best for all. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's travel this crypto journey together. And to all my Zilliqa holders, remember, strong hands will take you a long way. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.